The dance belt. Invest in the dance belt, please. Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, and what I wanted to do is come on today and talk a little bit about cosplay itself. So as you know, I'm obviously a cosplayer, uh, Superman mostly. I've dabbled in other uh, characters, but mostly, obviously, I'm known for the Superman stuff, Melbourne Superman. It fits. So I wanted to come on and talk about 10 things that will help to make you a more, I hate to say the word better, but what I'll say is a stronger looking, a more believable Superman cosplayer or the Superman character in and of itself. So a lot of the times I see people uh, dressing up as, as Big Blue, myself included, I've made a lot of these mistakes before. Not that they're mistakes, if they're choices, that's fine. But I believe that there is a better way to portray the character. And I think that there are certain things that need to be shown when you're doing that. So let's dive in to 10 things that will help to make you a stronger looking superhero. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do this in two different, well, actually three sections. So we're gonna go the costume, we're gonna go the stance, and we're gonna go the look itself. So we're gonna start with the costume. So I'm gonna put some of the photos of myself up, uh, as well as some stock photos. So you can see what I'm, I'm really talking about when I delve into some of this stuff. So first, look, here's me. This is me as Superman on pretty much day one of the job. So this was, oh, I'd say probably about 13 or 14 years ago. And so I'm looking at this photo and it's not awful, it's not great. Uh, it is my first sort of, well, it's technically my second big, uh, expensive suit. This one was made by uh, Action Costumes, whom I no longer work with, but the suit itself was fine. But if you look at it, so there's a couple things to take note of. A, we're going to go top to bottom here. Uh, my hair, my cape, my uh, the dance belt area, the, uh, the leggings, and see where it bunches up, and the boots. So Ah, well, you can also see some wrinkles in the cape there. This is not part of the list, but we'll say iron your cape is probably a good thing. So you can see what I'm, I'm there. I don't look particularly heroic. My stance is pretty narrow. Um, I mean, it's nothing really to write home about at all, but it's not awful, I think. And I think this is where a lot of people start, right? Like. The, 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 you can see a lot, well, I can see a lot of flaws with this and a lot of simple fixes that would make it a much better cosplay. So we're gonna start from the top bottom uh, to the bottom. So basically we're looking at the cape. So I see a lot of cosplayers who wear their capes over the shoulders. And I'll put up another photo, like a stock photo here of uh, a Man of Steel suit that you can see what I'm talking about. And whilst this is not an awful thing, it it just doesn't look as clean or as strong as it could. Whereas if you put the cape on top of your shoulders and slightly back, like in these photos that I'm about to put up here. Reason being is it just, it gives you a little bit, it gives the illusion that you have a bigger chest than you do A. B, when you cloak it over your shoulder, unless you're going for a very specific look and that look is out there. Uh, it, it gives the illusion that you're hunched over, that you're trying to close off. Whereas Superman, we want to really be up tall. We want that cape over uh, behind our shoulders so that that S is all out. And it's like, that is the set piece, right? That's, that's what we want to feature. Um, so we don't want anything getting in the way of that. And so when that's there, it gives you the illusion that you have a bigger chest, that you're more muscular and that you're, you're ready. You're, you're, you're ready for business, right? The next thing, the belt. So uh, some of the suits nowadays don't have a belt, of course, if you're looking at the Cavill style suits, but if you do have a belt, and this is all stuff for um, budget and you know expensive suits as well. Some of the budget suits, you might not have the option to get the cape behind the shoulders, but you can sort of figure it out. I've, I've found even the ones with the buttons, you can kind of figure it out. It just takes a little ingenuity. So the belt. If you have a belt, whether it's a plastic belt or a leather belt or a good one or a cheap one, you gotta make sure that it's A, centered. <laughs> uh, now I look at this original photo of me 
and it is nice and centered, but what is going on here is that the belt is a little bit too tight. Now, I was not nearly as fit as I am now as I was th uh, uh, now. Wait, sorry. I am not in this photo nearly as fit as I am now. So that photo, uh, I, I didn't have a lot of definition, but you can see that the belt is too tight. So what happens when you make the belt too tight is it gives that muffin top that none of us really want. So what I would say is find that sort of area, that area in between where you can get the belt tight enough so that it looks like it's secure, but not so tight that, and it's not even about the muffin top stuff, which isn't terrible. It's just, it's more about comfort. You want to be comfortable, right? That's the end of the day. Like cosplay is uncomfortable as it is. So the more we can make it comfortable with little things like that, better off we'll be. Uh, now your boots, are your boots secure? So in this photo of me originally, they're kind of they're kind of slumped down a little bit. I should have pulled them up. So as you can see in this next photo, the boots are nice and stretched. They're up. They are they are looking a lot cleaner and they're not sort of bunched up. Easy ways to do that. So A, um, the most easy way is to attach some um, uh, elastic in, uh, elastic band inside the boot. And so that you're basically, um, you, you when you put the boot on, you slip your foot into that elastic and you gotta position it of course in a way that it will hold, it will hold so toward the top. And then that secures the boot to your calf and that helps the boot stay up a little bit. A little bit more advanced stuff, if you want to put some Velcro in there, or if you even want to put some double-sided tape in there, if you're not worried about ruining anything, because that stuff can be really strong, it's a great way to keep your boots high and stretched and tall so that they look really clean. If it's a one-piece, if it's a one-piece suit, so this is, so okay, so obviously number one is your cape, number two is your belt, number three are your boots, number four, if it's a one-piece, size it right, try to size it right. Like, if you have the uh, option to give them specific size so that they can give you a custom size, great. Otherwise, really pay attention to that size chart and don't, don't, like a lot of people, and I don't know why they do this, they, instead of using the size that they are on the size chart, they sort of use the size that they wish they were or want to be. That's never gonna work. It's never gonna work in your favor. It might mean that if you are in like a weight loss journey or weight gain journey, you might have to alter things later on, but get the suit that's going to fit you because a suit that fits you is going to look a thousand times better than one that doesn't. If it's not a one piece, if the leggings are separate, then make sure that you pull. So in, in this original photo of myself, you can see that, that the, the leggings are bunched up. Make sure that you pull them up far enough so that they are stretched out. Might mean that the elastic waist is over your, uh, over your belly button. It's fine, that's fine. Nobody's really gonna see that because you've got the belt there anyway. So you'll be just fine with that. Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman. So just before the video continues, I just wanna take a second to remind you to please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like. Even if you're not, give it a like anyway for stopping by. Uh, if you do subscribe and like, it really helps out the channel a lot. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, and if you want to comment along, give me your feedback on what I'm talking about. I always try to get back to people as soon as I can, so I look forward to your comments. I look forward to your likes and your subscribes and hitting that notifications bell, ding, ding. Look, back to the video. Thanks again so much for stopping by. So, number six, so that cape one, belt two, boots three, one piece, make sure it fits four leggings, technically four and a half, but we're gonna call that five. Number six is a dance belt. Invest in a dance belt, please. Like I see so many cosplayers out there that just are like more power to you. You've obviously got loads of confidence, but you know what? Like some of you might be doing it not on purpose. Some of you are, you know who you are and whatever, but like, get a dance belt. So a dance belt is a piece of, uh, uh, it's pretty much a G-string for guys uh, and girls, um, but it's got slight padding in the front. It's not obscene padding. It's just enough to hide sort of your, the detail of what's under the, what's under the briefs, right? So you should really be wearing a dance belt under these, especially if they're tight, because guess what, gentlemen especially, you are representing a character that is well-loved by families, by children, boys and girls all over the world. 
and people who believe in an ideal of hope, of truth, justice. And you should represent that if you are representing that in that kind of way, because I know that there are cosplayers that like to represent the sort of sexual side of these characters, and that's 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 totally cool. That's your prerogative. But like, if that's not what you are, and you are trying to represent these characters to the best of your ability, then you need to wear a dance belt. You need to wear a dance belt because nobody really wants to see the outline of your. We, you know what I'm saying here, okay? So that's number six. Now we're gonna move into the stance. So the stance is kind of where we sell it. We sell it a lot with the stance. So as you can see in my photo, this original photo, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of standing up straight, but I'm also kind of like leaning, like I'm not slouching, but I think I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I'm like, something's off. I'm not standing up as straight as I could. My legs are a little bit too close together. My shoulders are a little bit too forward. I think that that's what it is. I think my shoulders are too forward. It's like I'm standing up straight, but my, my shoulders are forward. So in terms of stance, you want to stand up as straight as you can where possible. So like there's a big difference between this and this, right? Like if you look at Christopher Reeve, how he differentiated Clark and Superman, that's like that's like all it was. I mean, well, it's not all it was, but that was a big part of what it was. It was his stance. It was going from very not confident to right here and all of a sudden it's a completely different character it's a completely different stance stand up straight where possible i know that for some of you it's not always possible to stand up straight but as much as you can do that uh, you have to remember that the character that you're portraying is a strong character and there's a lot to say about a strong stance look online look online so number seven um no six seven eight this is eight Number eight, look online and find poses that work for you. Um, there are tons of things that you can find online like that will even inspire you to create different content and you can get an idea of what, what works for the character, what works for your specific suit, different poses that will work for your body because not all poses will work for you. Uh, that's just the nature of the game. Like There are certain poses that I'll try and I'm just like, oh, that, that doesn't look good, that's not flattering, we don't like that at all. Um, so that's number eight, look online. Number nine, when you're standing still, now there are exceptions to this rule, of course, but when you're standing still, it's always good to have your legs slightly apart. It gives a little bit more of a power position, power stance. There are times when your legs can be together and there are specific things you're doing that, but if you're just like standing up, have your legs slightly, your feet slightly, uh, I'd say uh, up to shoulder width apart probably wider than that would look weird, but that just gives off a little bit of a stronger position. So that's number nine. So that's the stance. Now, the final part, the piece of the puzzle is your look, the actual look of you. So again, unless you're being terribly specific, like uh, the bearded Superman or um, uh, like Superman three, where he's kind of disheveled, or you have like, if you have a beard, just like groom it, but like, in general, well, being well-groomed, a well-groomed Superman will go a long way. Like, if you've got a beard and you don't want to shave it, fine, but clean it up. If you were in, if you can get a haircut, get a haircut. I need a haircut right now. Um, but also, like, kind of comb your hair. Nothing ruins a great Superman cosplay. Like, someone who's looking the part, they've got the suit, they've got the stance, they've got the walk but it's clear that they haven't combed their hair and it just looks sloppy and it takes so much away from it. It just takes everything away from it. So really, really well-groomed, combed hair, clean shaven if possible, it goes a long way. Uh, again, if, you're, if you have a beard and you don't wanna shave it, don't shave it, but like make it nice and clean. Um, it's a clean cut character. That's the thing. If you're wanting to look your best as this character. Now, okay, so if you're wanting to represent yourself completely and not the character at all, you just want to put everything of yourself into it, fine. Do whatever you want. But if you want to represent this character in any kind of way that is what it, it can be, these are just some tips. You could use some of them, you could use none of them, whatever. <laughs> so uh, starting with the costume, number one, you've got your cape over your shoulders. Two, you've got the belt tight, but not too tight. Three, boots secure. 
four. If it's a one piece, make sure you size it right and not to the size that you want. Number five, the leggings, if you have separate leggings, pull them up high enough so that they're not bunched in the brief region. Number six, get a dance belt. You know who you are. If I'm talking to you, go order it online right now. Capizio makes a great cheap one. Number seven, stand up straight where possible. Number eight, look online and find the pose that works for you. Number nine, when standing still, have your feet in a bit of a wider than uh, normal stance, so maybe closer to shoulder position. That gives you a bit of a power position. And number 10, be well-groomed. Shave, comb your hair, trim, whatever it is. So those are 10 things, 10 things that I find that will really help your Superman cosplay game. These can be you know, used for other cosplay as well, but I'm just having to say, I'm just using Superman because I'm a Superman cosplayer. So again, those are things that will really help you out. Now look, if you're enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying the videos, if you're looking for more health and fitness and more cosplay and more Superman talk, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding. It will, you'll be notified every time I put a new video out and it'll really help out my channel. So look, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you next time.